I don't know if you can relate to this, but I realize that as I grow older, the things that I focus on and the things that I wanna bother spending time on uh, get smaller and smaller, that group of things get smaller and smaller. And so when one of my friends, a good buddy of mine in China, discovered that I liked something and shipped me a present from China, I was kind of ecstatic. It's it's a uh, it's something that I've been really interested in. So uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is right now, of course. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna like look at it with you and show you what it is. So if you're interested, watch on for that. I think we want to break down also why this product is uh, has gotten to be. The, the way it is and what we can do as entrepreneurs and business owners to really uh, you know create that sense of attraction that sense of excitement in our customers that's all that's what we want right and when I was growing my business I think that was something that I was always trying to replicate always trying to create um, every day for my customers so the Shipment, it's on its way. I have been tracking it on FedEx almost every day. Almost, in fact, more than every day. It's probably like every few hours I've been like refreshing the page just to get an update. And it's already arrived in Singapore. It's been sorted. And now it is on its way to my doorstep. So watch on for an unboxing and all that good stuff. I know it's in a box, but I don't know if I should open it now because look at the weather. Look at those clouds. Yeah, I am not gonna be able to use what's inside the box. So I don't know if it's a good thing that I open it up and I have to look at it all day while not being able to use it when it rains. So I don't know, we'll see. So I've been waiting to get this for a few days now and it is finally here. The wonders of FedEx Air. Oh my god, can't wait to unbox this. Watch on! Okay, I have decided to unbox this thing. Let's go! Man, I love this. This is my trusty opener. It opens everything from bottles, to, to, to wine bottles, to beer bottles, to beer caps and amazing puzzles! Yes! This feels like Christmas. Except I kinda know, I, I know what's inside so it's not a surprise in that sense. Uh, but still exciting! Whoa! Check it out! Oh man, still here, Thunder. Whoa! Look at this skate tool! Wow, sick, it's so purple, oh man it got scratched a little bit, but look at this, it looks so purple, ha, I've never seen such a purple object in my life before, this is so cool, uh, what else do we have here, more stuff to unwrap. Oh, this thing is wrapped up really nice. Like, really nice. Uh, yes! Okay, away you go, box. 
It's here. Check it out. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, I'm just gonna rip the whole thing. Wow. Look at that surface. Away you go! Wow! This is pretty damn sick! I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it looks gorgeous! Holy crap! I want to talk a little bit about the Skate Tool first. First of all, this thing is so purple. So purple. Yeah, what can I say? It's a little scratched up during during the shipping, but otherwise it is like perfectly purple. And you need this tool in order to tighten or loosen uh, you know, your your trucks in case anything gets loose from your board. Yeah. So it usually comes in like stainless steel or something but this has been coated in this purple sheen that just looks gorgeous man and yeah it just makes it look so unique i love it okay let's do this it's time to review this board uh this is not your ordinary board this over here is a Pantheon and it's one of the newer boards from Pantheon. Pantheon's a longboarding brand that has been around for ages and they've been really well known for doing like downhill boards and all of that and they haven't really been in the dancing uh, niche I'd say until this board. This is the Tandava. The Tandava is epic. Look at that! This, this veneer, this, this is black root. You can see the swirls and like, like face on, it looks, it looks dark. But when you tilt it and have it face the light at different angles, you can see the swirls. And th these are like natural swirls, the swirls from the trees. And it just looks gorgeous. The grip tape is, is amazingly grippy, so it's doing its work. Um, and if you hold it onto the side, <laughs> You can see the layers in this board. And the cool thing is, uh, you can actually see where the fiberglass starts uh, and where the, van the, the veneer starts. Wow, this is sick. You know, the cool thing about this board is that the fiberglass is at the top and at the bottom, right, right below the, the veneers, right, right below and right, yeah, right below the veneer layers. Uh, so that it adds this like layer of pop to the board. I know most boards have like their fiberglass right smack in the middle, which kind of does nothing if you think about it. Like fiberglass is supposed to protect the board and, and add some spring to it, but if it's right in the middle, sandwiched by the wood, uh, then really is it doing anything? Next thing is this this deck, the underside of the deck. It is sick. The artwork is. Glorious Pantheon. All right, this this is real gold. Well, not like real real gold, but like it's real gold, but it's mixed up with stuff and it's like painted. So it looks again. There's only one word to describe this. This is glorious. Look at the swirls, right? And it's more of that veneer, uh, that black root, the swirling stuff going on. Uh, at the at the underside of this deck, um, it's it's just amazing, right? Like all this is like hand drawn art. The trucks again, uh, Paris trucks, so super strong, super light, and comes in the shade of sage green. Ooh, so sick. Stainless steel. Um, or equipment, right? Oh crap! There's a little bit that there's a little bit that got like 
um, you know, damaged, I think. It was a little chip or something during shipment, I guess. Uh, but let, look at that, this is the wheel cut so you can see actually the layers of the wood uh, and the wheels. These are BOA wheels. Brand new, totally fresh, not even sold in the market yet. So if you're looking for dancing wheels from BOA, you can't even get them, but these are literally like one of the first few BOA dancing wheels in the market in the world. I cannot wait to try out this board. My only complaint is that the weather is raining right now. But other than that, oh man, these are so sick. The board feels really light, uh, but you can tell that it's so strong and man, my what I need to worry about is my skills. So now the board is so good that my skills can't keep up to it. I've got to be better. I've got to train to be better. I've got to practice more. I've got to learn some sick tricks so that I can ride this board the way it's supposed to be ridden. Wow. about its product innovation. Now if you think about longboards, longboarding has been around for donkey years and once you have a longboard, you pretty much have a longboard, right? Like what else do you want? Well, that's where product innovation comes in and innovation doesn't come in just for the sake of innovation's sake, but like it actually does make a difference, right? In terms of the materials you use, in terms of how beautiful the product is crafted, right? People can actually tell. So if you're a business owner, you're, if you're an entrepreneur and you're working on stuff, like this matters. Now, do you spend all your resources on your first version, your first, your first, the first version of your product? No. The first Pantheon boards sucked. The first Apple products sucked. Everybody starts off with a sucky product. Why? Because it doesn't matter. You don't have the clout, you don't have the resources, you don't have the ability to create something that's truly amazing or truly perfect. Neither should you. There's a concept that's uh, thrown around widely in the startup scene. It's the MVP concept, the minimum viable product. Uh, that term has been around for a while. And I think MVP has been like too widely used. And once the term has been too widely used, it starts you know, losing uh, the original intent. Now the original of MVP isn't to create a shitty product, it's to create the minimum viable product. The, the product has to be viable in the first place. It has to be something that people like, some, something that people actually use, something that people can actually get value from. Once you have an MVP, then you launch. You launch, you create the first version of your product, which will be shit. And then years go by, you create like version 2, version 3, version 4 and then you create something epic like this. That's what gets your audience excited, that's what gets your audience you know, looking and taking notice of you uh, and the cool stuff that you do. Until then, you've got to make sure that you understand what their pain points are, what their problems are can you even give them a board that works, right? Like, that should be the first thing, not the fact that you give them a beautiful board. Yeah, and I think these guys have done it. So, that's my advice to you if you are running a business right now, if you are trying to super scale your business, focus on something that works, create that, do that well, then do the incremental uh, improvements, the stuff that really brings your product to a new level, to a level like this, right? And then, well not then, but like, and all throughout that journey, you can really, really be serving uh, your target audience, your target customers, and, and giving them what they want. Now that, that is business. 
That is that value exchange that really keeps business in business and keeps your customers happy. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go find some time to write this board and get better at it. So, uh, if you like this, you might not like longboarding, but uh, hopefully if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, you've taken away something from this. Like, comment and share. Let me know your thoughts. I wanna know, if you're a longboarder, hit me up as well, drop me a comment down below. Uh, and subscribe to the channel so that I can put out more videos like this. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Send it!